Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today we are here with another comparison, which is between the Mi 20 Pro 5G, which has the Snapdragon 865 processor, versus the Mate 40 Pro, which has the Kyrene 9000 processor. All right, so here are the devices. And uh, let's just uh, check out the system information, okay? So on the Huawei, you see there's Kyron 9000 and uh, it's running Android 10 and it has 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, for the Xiaomi, of course, it's 865 and uh, also running Android 10, 8 gigs of RAM as well. And the game we are going to compare today is the PUBG Mobile. And to stress these devices to their maximum potential, because they are just all flagship devices which are supposedly very powerful, we'll actually run the game at 90 Hz HDR graphics settings, right? Which is super demanding if you have watched my previous comparisons. Um, but of course, that's not officially supported. So we will be using the GFX2. As you can see here, I set all, the, all of them to HDR 90 and uh, of course, okay, I will make the shadow settings the same as well. High, 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 of course, and 2X AA. So everything is the same. And uh, I have two accounts here. So I'll be able to actually run them at the same time. All right. And uh, of course, I, I, I can't play both at the same time. So I'll... Uh, use one as observer and play on one device first and then after 10 minutes I'll switch I'll play on the other device and use the other one as observer to make sure it's perfectly fair all right Okay, we already started the game and you can see um, the, the Huawei is actually observing and I'm playing on the Xiaomi I'll do this for about 10 minutes um, and I uh, will switch device, all right? Uh, of course, just like my previous um, reviews, I will show you the real-time FPS. Maybe on the right? I don't know.
Uh, okay, so this round uh, is it has been almost 10 minutes. Uh, let's uh, quit to lobby and uh, start next round. And uh, I'll actually play on the Mate 40 Pro for next round and observe on the Xiaomi, all right? Um,
Okay, now our tests are done. Let's take a look at the result. Apparently, here you can see the pink line is for the Mate 40 Pro and the green line is for the Mi 20 Pro. The Mate 40 Pro and the Karen 9000 is no match for the Mi 20 Pro and the Snapdragon 865 here. As soon as you enter the game, the FPS is not that stable and merely after two to three minutes you have some very significant frame drops okay and uh, after roughly eight minutes you see that the device becomes so hot that they kept the fps at 70 fps which is quite interesting but uh, also understandable uh, they have to limit the fps to reduce the power consumption to make sure the device does not overheat or even i don't know explode while on the other side, the Mi 20 Pro, the green line, is virtually 95, at least 95% stable at 90 FPS. So the Mi 20 Pro is handling this game like a champion here, while the Mate 40 Pro is really, really struggling. Then if we look at the power consumption, we are looking at very, very similar numbers here. While they are both cons consuming about 4.8 watt of power, uh, plus minus less than 50 milliwatt, which is uh, which could be ignored, I believe. Uh, I think this also makes sense. Uh, that's about as much as you can get for a sustained gaming session, right? Uh, of course, for a short burst, you can go as high as 8 watt, even plus 10 plus watt. That's fine, but you'll never be able to do that for a prolonged gaming session without any active cooling right so this is maybe as good as you can go for 20 minutes 30 minutes or even longer of uh, gaming sessions and uh, this also uh, correspond to my own observation well i don't have any thermometer but i can tell you that both of them are pretty hot and uh, i i can't really tell any difference there uh, which one is hotter which one is colder they are both pretty hot and the numbers really show that uh, yeah they are reaching their limit, I think. Um, and uh, if you factor in the battery capacity, which the Mate 40 Pro has uh, 4,400 milliampere, 
and uh, the Mi 10T Pro has 4,500 milliampere hours, which is also very similar. Uh, your estimated battery life are quite similar as well, so um, no difference there. In conclusion, from today's testing, at least in PUBG game, we see that the Karen 9000 is no match for 865, not mentioning the upcoming 888. It's quite a pity to see this. I don't know what's the issue. Maybe the Mali GPU is not efficient or maybe even the TSMC 5 nanometer node is just not as good as they claim. But anyway, that's the result. And uh, I'm, now I'm really looking forward to testing the new 888 because I really believe it, ha it will be amazing and it will dominate the Android world in 2021. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you like my content, please give me a like and share it to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you until next time.